Rangers.
the he say Tabitha. And her name also was Dorcas. And let me hear you say Dorcas. You see, the Holy Spirit goes out of his way. I love the Holy Spirit, by the way. I said, I love the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I love the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit knows how to HBO. Help a brother out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It knows how to help a brother out. Yeah, 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 yeah. In, 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 in our text. The Holy Spirit identifies three things. And the number three is a very interesting number. The number three is a number that heaven uses uh, to guarantee something is real. That it's authentic. That it's, it's guaranteed uh, to be real. Uh, you're looking at me like I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, um, uh, well, well, is God real? Yeah, he manifests himself as God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Is man real? Yes. Man has a body, soul, and spirit. Is time real? Yes. Past, present, future. Is, is, is matter real? Gas, liquid, solid. Is the Bible real? Book, chapter, and verse. Three is the number of reality. And the Holy Ghost identifies for us three things that parallel the life of Margaret Menheim. Number one, the Holy Ghost gives us her identity. Let me hear you say identity. Then he goes and tells us to look at her charity. And then he tells us finally to look at her adversity. When you look at the identity of this woman full of good works, one thing I discovered is the fact that she is one who is respected by all. In her identity, her self-identity, she was called Tabitha. And Dorcas. She was called Tabitha by the Jewish widow. But she was called Dorcas by the Grecian widows. But the words were different, but they both meant the same thing. Tabitha, Dorcas meant gazelle. In the Song of Solomon, I believe it's around the second chapter, around verse. Uh, number 9, 19, uh, 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 the, the, the picture of a gazelle is, is, is a sign of beauty and elegance. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Whatever this woman was, she was beautiful. She was elegant. And one thing I discovered is that you can be pretty on the outside and still be ugly on the inside, and that makes you pretty ugly. When you look at the self identity of Tabitha, known also as Dorcas, it lets me know that real beauty doesn't lie in the brownness of your eyes or the bluishness of your eyes. It's not because your hair is black or your hair is blonde. It, it has nothing to do with the outer man. It has everything to do with what you are on the inside. Say amen when you can. Yeah, she, she, she. And another thing, you better be careful because sometimes 
you can be guilty of stealing somebody else's identity. You do know that's a punishable crime. Yeah, if you assume somebody else's identity. We call ourselves Christians. Say amen when you can. I said we call ourselves Christians, but we're carrying the wrong ID. We are assuming somebody else's ID. That's a punishable offense. Because Jesus, somewhere between Genesis and Revelation, Jesus on, 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 on the sandy hills of Palestine gave us our identification badge. He says, by this. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. By this. Not a flashing neon sign saying Church of Christ. Not because of a sign that says the Church of Christ meets here. You will be known by the love that you have one for another. That's what I loved about Sister Manhattan. She had love for the brethren. She was self-identified. But she also had a spiritual identification. She also bore the Savior's identification. But not only that, the Bible says that she was full of good works. That paints the picture of a basket full of goodies to the point that it's running over. She was a woman full of good works. And you don't do good works to be saved. You do good works because you are saved. And the thing I like about Sister Benheim is the fact that she would do stuff not looking for the credit. She wanted the crown. She, she wasn't interested and who got the credit? No, sir. I never will forget uh, 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 Brother Haywood, who, who's the head of Benevolence yes. and, and Candyman, Brother Wilson. She was sent Candyman all over the city, getting things and put money in Brother Haywood's hand and tell him to give it to Sister So and So and Brother So and So, and they need it and tell him it came from the church. Don't tell him it came from me and Eugene. Tell him that it came from the church. And I'm here today to tell you that we need to stop getting hung up on titles and take up the towel. She wasn't hung up on titles. No, 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 no. She put the emphasis where Jesus put the emphasis. And it's on the towel. And another thing, when you get to heaven, he's not going to say, Reverend, well done. Don't get it twisted. He's not going to say, Dr. So-and-so, well done. He's not going to say, Evangelist, Bishop, Elder. He's going to say, Sabbath. understood the value of being a servant. The thing I like about it is that she loved people. She loved people. Especially people that didn't have the opportunity that she had. Especially those who were downtrodden and those who did not necessarily have all the opportunities presented to them.